up YouTube, this is Vault here, back again today with you guys with a very new, exciting opening speed duel video, the starter decks Ultimate Predators. And I'm absolutely really excited to open this set out because, um, you know, two sets came out today on August 1st for us. So this starter deck as well as Scars of Battle Booster Box right here. So be sure to check out the other uh, Scars of Battle Booster Box opening. Um, video as well if you guys haven't seen it yet they're really really great and then so today with uh, speed dual starter deck ultimate predators uh, we have rex raptor and weevil underwood as the main guys for this starter deck so i believe there's only probably two starter decks right here let's check the back up some spoilers right there but uh, most of you probably know what cards are in there by now because they've konami has released the full spoiler but let's quickly open this up to check out what is in here that is so great and really, really interesting because now the meta will change, will shift, and be completely different. And check out the packaging as well right here. Pretty neat right here. We've got uh, green packaging uh, for uh, both of these starter decks. And we can see their uh, strongest cards that they play. But one of the things I also want to check out is definitely the playmat right here. I uh, really hope that, you know, Konami releases this kind of playmat in, in uh, rubber playmat form, like a mouse pad. That would be really, really neat. Looks not too bad. I kind of like it. So, we'll use it for this video right here, and as well as our opening. So, which one should I go first? Uh, Weevil, Insects, or should I go with Rex Raptor and the Dinosaurs? Uh, let's start with Weevil first. <laughs> Just because, no particular reason in mind. Also, you guys comment down below on which decks you guys prefer or which uh, character you like more. Weevil Wonderwood or Rex Raptor. So right here we got a card. Uh, pretty nice, pretty neat. So they use it as the packaging like last time with the starter decks where they had uh, sort of a cardboard box that wraps around the starter deck right there. That's pretty interesting. Really good. And the Duel Links add, of course, right here. So first of all, with our Ultra Rare that we get in the set, which is really great. Jar of Avarice, and Jar of Avarice is really good. You just target five cards, shuffle them into the, into the deck, and draw one card. Really, really good. So first of all, we've got a uh, skill card for Weevil Underwood, uh, Hyper Metamorphosis. You can activate the skill while you control a level three or lower insect monster. Discard two cards and tribute one level three or lower insect monster, a normal insect monster you control, to special summon perfectly ultimate great moth, ignoring its summoning conditions. That's really, really sweet, because there's a lot of, lot of uh, uh, mini um, normal type insect monsters that are below level three in this deck I know as well. Hidden Parasite. Once per turn, you can change all monsters to your, uh, on your opponent's side of the field to insect until the end of the turn. And uh, all the damage your opponent takes, uh, battle damage they take, is half for the rest of the turn. And you can use this uh, skill up to twice per duel. So pretty good combination with some cards that we get to see as well. And right here we got ult uh, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth right here. Really, really neat. With 3,500 attack, and which is even stronger than Blue Eyes right now. Probably one of the highest attacking monsters as well, other than Blue Eyes Ultimate in the current game. So first of all, right here we got uh, Petite Moth. Big Insect, Basic Insect, Wind Cleaver, uh, Kumutaku, uh, Alan Section, Sanction, Insect Queen, one of uh, Weevil's iconic cards and that they used in the anime and ma manga that you guys probably read or watch. Cocoon of Evolution, Man Eater Bug. This is absolutely a really amazing card. I mean, it's literally almost like Yomi Ship, but maybe even better because a flip effect, target one monster in the field, any monster you want, and destroy it really really good actually and it's just a common I, I thought this card would be um at least in a higher rarity or maybe possibly even be in the scars of battle booster box instead actually but um still really neat really good common card to have i can totally see that this card is going to be really annoying uh pinch hopper insect princess gawky pond really good for searching uh b-list soldier Beatron, which is good for recovering cards from the insect card from the graveyard, I believe. Uh, we got Laser Cannon Armor, you know, at 300. Forest, Field Spell, uh, Verdant Sanctuary, which is really neat uh, for insect monsters. When a face up insect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, its controller can add one insect monster with the same level as a destroyed monster from the deck to their hand. So, pretty interesting. Uh, insect Neglect, Worm Bait. Uh, Enchanting Fitting Room, Dark Factory of Mass Production, Amulet of Ambition, White Elephant's Gift, so that's a reprint already, and we've got Error Decay, uh, er 
Eradicating Aerosol, which basically destroys all uh, insect monsters on the field, which basically works very well with uh, this Weevil's uh, skill card right here. Uh, not to mention that that face looks very funny, honestly. So with Hidden Parasite, you know, you change all your opponent's uh, monsters into insect, and then you just activate the spell card and basically just blow up their field. Really, really good. And then uh, right here, we got Spider Egg, big basically helps you summon tokens, which can be used for tribute. Oops. Uh, we got Corrosive Scales, which is uh, a fairly new card, I think. It came out probably like around a year or two ago um, from for uh, regular Yu-Gi-Oh! And they probably reprinted this as a Speed Duel card already, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can see great, uh, uh, perfectly ultimate Great Moth there, and also like, like Gaia, the Sky Galloping something, not too sure. Pretty neat card right here. Uh, Adhesion Trapple, which is pretty neat as well, you know, just basically half of your opponent's uh, monsters attack when they're summoned. Or uh, even when they summon multiple monsters as well, so all of them will be half. Uh, order to smash to end off for Weevil's deck right here. Overall, really neat, really interesting cards. So you know, definitely you guys stay tuned for upcoming deck profiles uh, that the channel will be releasing very soon already. Uh, once the set hits down, and um, yeah, be sure to check that out. So if you guys haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those upcoming videos. Okay, now we're moving into Rex Raptor's deck. Uh, once again, we got this cover card right here, probably a Duel Links ad right here with Rex Raptor and Red Eyes, pretty neat. Put them right here. Uh, we have Order to Charge as our uh, Ultra Rare. And so it's a quick play spell card. Target one non-token normal monster you control. Tribute that normal monster, and if you do destroy one monster your opponent controls. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, the first skill we have Dinosaur Kingdom, all dinosaur monsters gain 300 attack and defense, that's really really good already. 300 attack and defense is good. And then we've got Nightmare Sonic Blast, so this card is, I believe is dedicated to um, Rex Raptor's uh, ace card, uh, basically as you can see right here on the left side, um, Serpent Knight Dragon. Uh, you know, if you control that on the field, you can activate the skill. Reveal the top 4 cards from your deck, use one of the following skills depending on the number of monsters revealed. If you had one reviewed, add one of those uh, reviewed uh, cards to your hand, which is really good, instant plus one. If you review two, destroy one card your opponent controls. And if you review three, apply both effects. And then afterwards, you can place the rest of the review cards on top of your deck in any order, which is really, really good. Honestly, this, this skill is pretty neat. So, and there we go with uh, Serpent Knight Dragon, 2350 attack, just a little bit lower than Red Eyes, but also level seven, which requires two tributes, which you know, I can see really interesting decks coming out with this guy right there. And then uh, we have two headed King Rex, Urubi, two Urubis, uh, Crawling Dragon, number two, uh, Tomozaurus, uh, Anthrosaurus, Black Tyranno, Super Ancient Dino Beast, Mad Sword Beast, Gillosaurus. Gale Lizard, this card is pretty uh, powerful right now. It's also kind of similar to Man Eater Bug, but uh, instead you just target your opponent. Instead of destroying the card, you target your opponent's uh, monster and return it back to the hand, which is still really, really neat. And it has a 1400 attack, which is stronger than Man Eater Bug. Dark Dicer Triceratops, this card is actually really powerful. I can see it, you know, it inflicts piercing damage, it's 2400 attack, and it only requires one tribute as a dinosaur type, which would be really, really good. Hyper Hammerhead is also gonna be a really good card uh, from the set also, you know. Uh, its effect is at the end of the damage step, if an opponent monsters that battle this card is not destroyed, return that monster to the hand. So you can really, you know, bounce back strong monsters and high level monsters your opponent has. Element Source, standard. Black Stagel, pretty interesting and good defense as well. Uh, Gentle Mander, which is a reptile. We got Rise Body Heat as an equipped spell for dinosaurs, which gains 300 attack and defense. We got Ultra Evolution Pill right here. Space Time Transcendence. Cost Down, which is basically a reprint. Summer's Art. This is a really good uh, new card right here. It basically lets you search a level 5 or higher uh, normal type monster from your deck and add it to your hand. So instantly, really, really, really good. I can see this uh, running into a lot of Blue Eyes decks eventually and Red Eyes decks, and as well as the Serpent Knight Dragon deck. And then moving on next, we have another reprint, uh, White Elephant's Gift. Heat Wave, which is also a really, really interesting card. Uh, definitely going to be pretty useful in Dinosaur deck. Uh, card Advance, which is also a really good card, uh, which gives you um, 
advantage in tribute summoning monsters as well as revealing the top five cards of your deck and allowing you to place them in the back to the top in any order which is really good so we've got two of those really neat hunting instinct reinforcements uh this card is actually really good as well uh, i personally think that it makes Skull Dice and Graceful Dice not as great anymore because you instantly add a 500 attack to one of your monsters. No RNG involved. And it can be actually seen played uh, a little bit here and there. Foul Treasure. And we're ending off with Limit Impulse right here. So overall, these are the two uh, card deck openings for these uh, new two starter decks as well. Uh, for Rex Raptor, the dinosaur guy and weevil underwood the insect guy right here so i hope you guys enjoyed the opening once again be sure to subscribe to the evolve channel for more epic and awesome speed duel content on this channel we'll be doing lots of deck profiles and play testing and dueling book videos uh potentially on this uh as soon as uh you know all uh, these, these sets have been reviewed fully reviewed and checked out and opened up on the channel We'll be making those deck profiles competitive, fun, interesting ideas. So what do you guys think? Uh, comments, uh, post your comments in the comment section down below. Let us know what sort of cards you like from this set in the starter deck. Do you guys prefer, once again, Weevil Underwood or Rex Raptor? Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. And this is Vault, signing out.